back at 4096 17th Street. We're having a wiener roast out here. This is the home of Scott Wiener. Okay. Our sellout liberal politician who's funded by realtors and his Google buddies. That's how I got elected, folks. Anyway, I'm going to shut my trap. The light out here is really crappy. So. show you more but can't see much in the dark and we got the old chalkers out tonight yay for chalk and tonight we're going to be guest hosting by none other than Mona Lisa Wallace who I've been dying to get on the live stream for a long time Finally gone. He was swallowed up by the system to the beast that did him wrong. Golden Brown. Text like sun. Hey, 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 Oh yeah, I'll get it. 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 I'll Fine boys in blue across the street. Have a vigil to protect our rights, officer. There you go. Right. Just, uh, there's not much light here. You're just gonna have to grab it. I already been done. I'm done. done. I'm 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 done. I am you. You are me. We are. Good morning. Your nature. <laughs> I guess my major. Here we go. Let's put that on stand. There we go. There you go. All right. Well, let's talk about. Let's talk about this. Be wise. Be live. I'm alive. Live in the moment. Yeah. Right, what do you want to talk about? I'm just teasing. I want to talk about over 6,000 homeless. Yeah, let's get over in the light so we can see. About, right? Let's get over in the light here. So we'll grab this for a second. One momento. Let me put this away. So over 6,000. 
We grab that Homeless in, just in San second. Francisco. We'll be here on for a long time. Just remember that. No, it's your first time. So I've been a newsman for 40 years. <laughs> yeah, but I can't stay the whole night. No, that's okay. I don't expect it. And I love to do it. Let's thank Kevin for coming. Thank you for coming. Yeah, yeah. You. so why are you doing this? What? Live stream. Oh, hi, live stream. How are you? <laughs> why are you here tonight, Kevin? Why am I here tonight? Yeah. I really wanted to show some solidarity to the uh, homeless homies that are like holding it down on the street corners and taking the abuse from the system to prove the point that we should be allowed to be freed despite uh, the popular uh, notion that we need to pay to live on this planet. Right on. Um, so I'm in solidarity with that notion and these people. Yeah, it's time we stop criminalizing being poor. Yeah, or criminal. And even just being, being out in the world, you know, like when did humans ever in the history of humanity always have homes? So people have always gone wandering or nomadic. It seems like a normal, natural thing for people to do anyway. But there's a war. So why are we criminalizing? Yeah, yeah. What's up? Uh, well, I yeah. guess we just got to make it popular and beautiful that's to be right. free again. Right on. Yeah. I love you, Kevin. Right. I love you, too. Thanks I'll for see being you soon. here. Uh, we'll come over on Thursday when these Yeah. Right. I love you. See you soon. Second, make sure you keep it on the ground when you're doing it. Okay. All right. And then you, what right. you do, make sure the lens is in front of you so you can see what's going on. Okay. That's it. It's very basic. Say what you want to say. Mona Lisa? So tell me, you tell me. Okay. Why are you here tonight? Uh, 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 I used to be homeless and are houseless. I don't like to say homeless because I always had a home. San Francisco is my home. But, uh, you know, I used to live out on the streets and although I was never really, I had my, I was living, I had a 27 foot RV, right, that I kept in mint condition and I used to, have, I, I held down a job, I was going to work every day. And I was getting harassed by this one cop who thought it was her friggin' uh, right to harass me day and night about my sleeping quarters because it was against the law to sleep in a mobile home, right? And basically, it was just another way of causing the homeless. Uh, so I'm down here to uh, defend homeless people's rights to live, and that you know our city, you know, it can be a beautiful place, but at times. It really becomes like, uh, what's the word for it, ironic that it's illegal to sleep in a city, right? A normal human function that basically is getting uh, made illegal by these idiot politicians, right? I think that, that we ought to make Scott Wiener spend a week out on the street before he goes and passes any laws about homelessness and houselessness, right? And if I bet you if he spent a week out of here on these cold, mean streets, his entire attitude would probably change. So well, that's why I'm at it. So right. Hey, I'm in a wheelchair. It doesn't apply to me. And we've seen, what, the same 19 people getting charged over and over again. Over and over again. you got individuals with over $20,000 worth of fines. How are they ever going to pay? It's just, it's just bringing back debtors to prison. Yeah, and, 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 Criminalizing uh, poverty. And guess who ends up paying for most of it? Us. That's right. The taxpayer. That's right. right? It's not the homeless that aren't going to pay. They don't have any money. That's right. What is right? it like That's why they're homeless. Majority of fast food workers are... Yeah, $11 an hour. Not even making that much. Getting public yeah, about half public of their, yeah, half of their fast food people it. are getting uh, food stamps. They need it. Or you know, we got, we got some rich bitches, there. you know, that think they're all that. They have no compassion for poor people or the working poor. You know, if you go to work for Walmart, you have to get food stamps. Right. You go to work for McDonald's. The you have to get food, food stamps. So you got to be a slave. Not only are you a slave in the first place, slave it away for fucking uh, an institution that, that specializes in the torture and mistreatment of animals. You also have to deal with idiot bosses and a capitalistic structure and just to so say you can collect food stamps and make fucking minimum wage. It's not right, right. in this country. Things are going to have to change. And, uh, now that's, you've been around uh, the block, Clark. So tell me about when there used to be mental institutions, and they used to just house people in mental. Institutions oh yeah, well yeah, that's what they used to do. Um, uh, you know, there wasn't one of the reasons why we so have now so many criminalizing the mentally ill. If yeah, they fall the, asleep on the sidewalk if they need to.
crash out on a bench. Oh in yeah, the we park. got people busting them in from all over the country. You know, they get they bust them in here to San Francisco, right? And we've caught Las Vegas, Nevada, and Reno, Nevada doing it. And what they do is they they give people the Greyhound cure, and which is a one-way ticket to San Francisco, and they end up dumping them on the streets here for us to take care of here in the city. Uh, you hear that, Vegas? You hear that, Reno? We're tired of you dumping your homeless here in San Francisco. It's not like we don't love our homeless here. I don't know. I love you know. them. Well, at least they're going to get treated better here we than they will. To, we need to find yeah. a solution. We got... Yeah, yeah. You know what the solution we got the resources. is? We just the hell of my care. building, love. Right? Because they dump people here. we got more empty yeah. units in this city than we yeah, have well, homeless. Not, not, so we can. Yeah, we, we can. can. House. Well, we're we speaking generally it. now. Yeah, we have it. We just but, uh, need to redistribute. Like, my building is like a dumping ground for uh, mentally ill homeless people, right? And I've seen them come in. And we're talking about people... You know, God love them. You know, they have no social skills whatsoever. And, like, these are people that don't even know how to use the bathroom properly. Okay. And uh, they force the other people in the building. We actually have to socialize people. I've actually had to jump on people quite a few times about their bad habits. And, you know, they're put there without any social services. And we finally got a real licensed psychiatrist on our premises now. They're all intersections. Right? We've got the deinstitutionalization of um, the mentally ill. So where are they going to go? Oh, where are where they going to go? And then we have the food, and we don't know what's causing the 1 in 88 children born today to be autistic. Right. Where are they going to live? Yeah. How are they going to function? Yeah, there's all kinds of places. You know, unfortunately, everything's built for the rich. That's right. That's right. You know, right. when they build housing, they don't care about us. You know, they're trying to force us. I live on 6th Street in the 6th Street corridor. And on the 6th Street corridor, there's an active plan to... Uh, de-house uh, people that were formerly homeless. Uh, there's all kinds of office construction that's going on all around me every day. I get treated to the sound of jackhammers. And basically none of that this housing, it's all offices for all these dot bombs. And uh, I don't know if you're familiar with that term, dot bomb, comes from all the startups, tech uh, people. And they really screwed the real estate scene here in San Francisco up. And now we're faced with endlessly rising prices and that's priced out most normal people out of San Francisco. Well, we talk about right. Proposition 13, something that was mm -hmm. designed to help the elderly not be pushed out of their homes by rising tax rates. But what out. happens to corporations? They no, never die, no. do they? No, they never they, like to pay They the never die. Either. Oh no. So it's all it's all in the intersection, isn't it? And then we'll look at those police over there. So if this ordinance passes, are we going to have the resources to have police be parked outside of the parks to keep people out of there from 12 to 5? Is it cost effective to use the police to do that instead of just have people in the first Yeah, let's they do on my street. I don't know. What are they doing here? What are they doing here? What are we thinking about? How's them hot dogs? Blaming the victim, that's what that's well, about. Like it's a it's Go to town. How's those wiener dogs? Oh, it looks good. Oh, here we go. My only thing I was a little bit concerned about yesterday is Scott Wiener. I'm the food, like bear, and there's no food. Okay. Have a hot dog. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. I bought some. I don't eat hot dogs. Um, I don't eat meat, actually. You know what them hot dogs. Yeah, vegetarian wiener is coming. Okay, because we know it's in hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different show. <laughs> yeah, we'll get into the meat cruelty. Yeah, they don't make it illegal first, folks. And be aware of what you're doing with the camera. Well, I'm glad that uh, the cops are suffering just as much as we are. Ask them if they want a dog. They've got plenty of those. Yeah, right. They won't take anything from me anyway. They're afraid of poison. They're afraid of I don't hate it. I just like people all the time. Matter of fact, the people I love the most, I torture. Right? I'm really into torturing people because they really do my true intention. <laughs> so it's better to be nonviolent. That's right. I always got to constantly remind people about their place. But now I'm not into fighting the police. I actually pulled my ass out of the fire on more than one occasion. That's right. You know, where I was getting, actually, I was doing a live stream. Got, got assaulted by his hand. You know, we didn't get his chance to lay hands on me. No, I just yelled. And I saw a cop coming and I yelled really loud. He stopped. The guy took off. Right. So I know how to, I know how to work. They're okay. The yeah. only problem with them is, is that most of them, you know, it would be nice if 
what's going to happen when we have an earthquake and the Golden Gate Bridge is out and then all of the police are going to Sacramento because that's where they all live, right? And uh, what's going to happen then? I think we got a law that passed it that all the firemen have to live in San Francisco. What happens when there's an earthquake? So these guys are going to be stuck up in Sonoma. You know, well, we don't need the cops anyway. It's a fallacy that you need the police to protect you. You know, it seems like every time. Well, I can't always say that because, you know, like I said, they pulled my ass out of the fire a couple of times, right? But if there was no police, you best bet I'd be packing. Well, remember her Candy really is the occupiers that came to the rescue, huh? That's right. That's right. That's you know, we did more. Who's we did more for the homelessness too. in those two right. months, or three months that we were at 101 California. We fed and clothed and housed more homeless people in those three months than the city of San Francisco probably did at the same time. Yeah, right. That's true. You know, a matter of fact, we had the cops. Where they Especially were sending the homeless down there because they had nowhere to go. Up and like not, you know, not letting people party and just getting educated. I remember the library there and just teaching the youth about the history of what's going on around them and giving them the power to have self-esteem. Giving them another lesson. Yeah, right. You know, and they caused us a lot of problems. I'm not going to get into it, you know. I'm not going to mince words. A lot of times we were forced to put our energy into caring for these people, you know, God love them, instead oh, of I like... I remember when someone used to bring chai, like those big things of warm chai, it was so good. It was vegan too, soy chai and whatever, yummy Yeah, it was yummy, stuff. right? Ah, oh, the food was really good. Lots of really good vegan, local, organic food. Always keep your eyes on You're aware of those other people watching. And every once in a while you see that network button. Yeah. Oh no! It's really easy. No, don't worry. No, don't, don't worry about that pure account because it's not accurate. Because I've I've got it like restreamed on a bunch of different places. <laughs> don't worry about getting the hang of it. You will. Just always keep your eye on that lens. Don't ever let your eye off of that lens. All right, anybody who wants to. I will really take it back then. All right. My hands are clean. Okay, that's all right, sweetie. But that was my lovely co-host there, Mona Lisa. The real angel, folks. The dark angel. Uh. <laughs> yeah, well, it's coming up on Halloween. So, Woo, I'm out here. Oh, yes, you do. Yeah, I just friended you today on Facebook. I hope you, I hope you check your Facebook. Right? Be prepared for provocative statements. <laughs> I love being provocative. <laughs> right? It's the only way you can wake people up in this day and age. How's your hot dog? Yeah, how's the wieners? <laughs> how's wieners, wieners? <laughs> hey, man, this is such a natural. I think I was talking about this last month online with a bunch of liberals. They were all complaining about Scott Wiener. And I'm like, well, how about having a wiener roast at his house? So I kind of think that somebody else was paying attention. And that's how we got this together. I was so happy. Right? This is Bob. He's one of our, our resident activists here in San Francisco. We're so lucky to have him. You know, he's a real dedicated individual. And you will always see him showing up at every meaningful protest here in the city. Impossible. That's right. So, and we love this. I still have your uh, your stagecoach pictures. Remember that was last good, year? That, yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. He built a stagecoach last year, a Wells Fargo stagecoach. That was simply off the road. Yeah, it was nice. We had a union rally about five years ago, and we rented a stage, a big stagecoach, and, and horses, and yeah. You know, that's still on, around on, on, Stardust, has it? I can never yeah, get a hold of him. Again. Yeah. He's like the worst How person to get a hold of. He's even more antisocial than I am when it comes to getting a hold of him. Have there been any sightings? Well, one of the neighbors came out of the building and basically said that nobody likes him in the building. So oh, good. That's the kind of person he is. So yes. Nobody likes me. Everybody hates me. Guess I'll go eat a wiener. <laughs> about the darkness well, folks. They're, they're almost all eaten by now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was looking forward to this all day today. Well, I was sleeping. Our hot sleeping dog. I just got here and around the corner and I started doubting where I was going. So folks, we got about 25, 30 people here tonight. 
and we're out here protesting the uh, criminalization of the houselessness here in San Francisco. We're at 4096 17th Street at Scott Wiener's home. Uh, he lives in this building right here. So we're out here letting him know that we don't approve of his conduct. We don't approve of his legislation. And we're telling him, hey, buddy, lose your real estate friends. They're only going to drive you to destruction because they're using you just as much as you think you're using them. Right? We have a real problem. Uh, <laughs> hey, no problem. Good to see you again. Hey, I'll be at the City College on the 31st. Oh, good.